Hey guys and welcome. Today we're going to be taking a look at how exactly to take apart one of these Gobilda Mechanum wheels. They have a lot of improvements and one of them is they now use E-clips instead of a standard nut and bolt to constrain the shaft. So there's an E-clip on either side of each of these shafts. The roller can spin independently of that shaft thanks to the bearings and shins and to take this roller out all we need to do is remove an e-clip on one side. To do this, we're going to need a nice seven millimeter open-faced wrench. We're gonna use this to remove these bolts here, these nuts here, and we're also gonna use it to, as an e-clip removal tool. We're also gonna need some nice Nino's pliers, and we're gonna need a three millimeter Allen or hex driver. The first step, of course, is going to be to grab our substitute e-clip removal tool and to line up the open face of the e-clip with the open face of the er, the wrench. Um, normally I'd hold my finger over that e-clip so it could not go flying but we're going to take the chance today so you guys can see exactly what goes on. And basically we're just, you can you could see it flex a lot there. We're going to apply some pressure until we can get that to snap off. You can see we're lucky today it stayed right there and we can get a good nice look at what that e-clip looks like. So um, after you get that e-clip off you're going to want to set it aside in a place you know you can access later and where you'll know where it's at. And now this shaft has nothing constraining it from sliding out. So what we can do is just slide that shaft all the way out. We can then take the bearing, excuse me, we can then take the roller out um, and you're going to want to look for two shims. The first shim in this case stuck to that bearing and the other shim looks like it stuck to that plate. That Both of those are fairly standard in terms of what happens to happen when you are removing that roller. So, since there's some grease from the bearings you can see, um, these shims tend to stick around against the bearings or against the plate. Now, if you're just assembling your entire wheel, um, you're going to want to do this to every roller on the wheel until you're left with just the plates and just the core. Then you're going to want to mark your plate orientation relative to the plates, and you can unbolt these four bolts to pull your wheel apart, and you'll have each individual piece. Then, when you're ready to put it back together, pull your plates in your core together so you get your sandwich and start putting your rollers back in at that point. So here we will go about that process. Oops. We're going to grab the shaft and our wheel and we are going to insert that shaft into the hole right like so. Then we're going to grab one of our shims and we're going to install it on the shaft. Just like so. And you want to be careful not to get that shim stuck on the e-clip ring um, that you can see there. Then you're going to want to back that shaft up so that you can get it onto the roller. Then you're going to want to intentionally misalign the entire roller assembly as you push the whole shaft through. You can get it so it pokes up beside the plate. And what you'll want to do is add the shim. So we've got that popped up beside the plate instead of through the hole. And we're going to find our other shim. It's right there. Ooh, stuck. And we're going to add this shim to that shaft. Again, making sure to not get it stuck on the e-clip ring. Ideally, we want to get it underneath the plate like you can see here. Now we're going to push that shaft back so it's flush with the plate and we're going to run it underneath the plate like so until we get it aligned with the hole and then push that through. Now you can see if we take, get really tight here that there is a neck on that shaft where the e-clip goes. That you need to make sure you can see and I normally like to keep my finger here to reinstall that e-clip. Um, which is what we're ready to do now. And this is where your needle-nose pliers will come in handy. So we've got to grab our E-clip. Uh, 
and what I like to do is just set it beside that shaft and start to engage it with the ring. Um, you can see here that some of the grease from that bearing will kind of hold it in place fairly well. And it is starting to latch in there. We're gonna grab our needle nose pliers and pinch those two together. There we go. And that is the last step in the process of getting that roller back on. You can complete that process for each of the 40 rollers on your set of mechanical wheels, and you should be good to go. After you reinstall a roller, you want to make sure that it can spin freely, that the E-clip looks really solidly locked on, and that nothing feels loose or wrong with that wheel. Um, this is the total process you need if you want to paint your plates or do any other modification like that. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email. We are over at tech at gobilda.com or you can give us a call and we'd be happy to help you out with whatever questions you may have.